must kill all humans. Tobacco leaves Always Man, this is such a time-consuming chore Day in, day out It's just gotta be done I will find an easy and quick way to do this in the future But right now, I have no choice But to just put my fucking nose down to the grindstone and grind That's the thing, sometimes you just have to. If there's something you love, something you want to get done, sometimes it's just a case of just fucking doing it. I'm sure there are many of you that can agree. Notice how I switched the camera on when I started doing all my lovely leaves. All the ugly ones are over there. Moldy, ugly as hell. No, I'm kidding, some of them are right. These ones. These ones are buttes with not much mold. In fact, hardly any mold. There will be mold. It is inevitable. Inevitable that there will be mold. You know what? I don't give a shit. Once it goes to the kiln, as long as the leaf turns brown, there's a little bit of mold left on the leaf, it will die in the kilning process. You just can't let the leaf become like completely fucking rotted away. When it gets too moldy and there's no hope, then you toss the leaf. Let's give you an example. This one, too moldy, too many black bloody marks that won't come out. Got my vinegar solution, I've been dabbing and wiping and trying to kill the mold. And it's just a no-go. This one is just destined for the compost heap. So no. Not today, sir. You will not progress to the next stage. Gosh, it's hot. It is. 75% humidity. That's the highest I've ever seen it here. 23 degrees. Almost 10 o'clock at night. It's going to be another hot, hot night. The heat is not uncommon. That's the humidity. We had a thunderstorm today. That's why. That is why we have this amount of humidity now. Normally we have diddly squat in the way of humidity, it's bone bone dry. Well, it increases a little bit in the evenings till, you know, 40 or so, 40, 50, maybe 60. But 77? Gosh. It's like we're in the tropics. Ah, oh, what do I do with my beer? Oh, there you go. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh. Sweet, sweet beer. It all comes together with a castle. Bicep flex! Mm. Ah, there we go. Give me the strength. Carry on. Another five minutes. So, yeah. I'm not asking for any sympathy. If you have sympathy for me, that's, that's nice. That's, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for that little bit of sympathy. 
But to be honest, I brought this upon myself. I took off a bloody great big bite. Now I have to chew. I gotta chew. I gotta chew or choke. I'm not gonna fucking choke. I gotta chew. Chew this bitch up. I must get my kiln up and running. Come on, you. Get out of flat. There we go. show you some good leaves. This is Little Dutch. These ones are cured. Don't want you guys getting too bored. I mean, it's nice of you to come and watch me, but I've got to give you something. Yeah, that's going to go through the kiln once that's fermented. It smells like a little bit raisiny, but I yeah, you wouldn't want to smoke that. That's got too many horrible compounds in there that will taste disgusting. But at least it doesn't smell moldy. All right, that's little Dutch. Let's have a look at some Havana. Now these leaves are beautiful. Hoping to get some wrappers out of this lot, some wrappers and some binders. I just don't know how elastic these leaves are. So again, the kilning process would hopefully uh, bring out the elasticity. A little bit dry now, so I will definitely not try and stretch one out or tear. Anyway, beautiful leaves, beautiful leaves. Habano, Habano, Habano 2000. Habano 2000. Some of them are quite light actually. Yeah, there we go. Not exactly enormous leaves, so I doubt I'll get any wrapper out of them. Fabano 2000 has traditionally been grown for rabbits. But it depends how your plants turn out, and I didn't end up with many. One got cut down. But one that's huge, there are a few large leaves. I will try and get some wrappers out of that. But most of them are quite small. And this is the Criollo. Criollo, but you don't pronounce the L's apparently. Criollo. Criollo 98, they actually look very similar to the Barna. But I know they are Criollo because I've marked everything. Actually, these ones, some of them come with a lovely reddish color. Not sure what the kilning process will do, will it change the colors, will it bring out more colors, will it make them more oily? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Anywho, let's uh, continue with this horrendously boring chore. Ah, uh, Bruno, King Mars, go away. All right, thanks for stopping by and listening to my yapping. You guys are keeping me from going insane, but I think uh, I'm gonna switch this off now and power on without you guys. Uh, no offense, but I'm gonna bore you. It's just the same old, same old, so, uh, yeah. All right, we'll catch up in a bit. Oh, somebody is frisky this morning. Hmm. Well, it's the uh, arse crack of dawn. 
I gotta make myself a coffee. Let's see, I'm wearing my nice shirt. Once I'm done with my leaves, that's off to my day job, which is how I get to pay my bills. <laughs> yes. I wish I had your frisky energy in the morning. But I don't. So it's off to the kettle to make some bean juice. Some brown bean juice. Turn me from a zombie into an actual functioning person. Must kill all humans. Hmm. Hello, Becky. There's still some Becky left. Look at that one in the back. A boner. It's decided to grow more than six foot tall, which is nice. See where I bag the flowers? Uh, and then it's shot up even further. It's taller than me now. Craziness. Have a look at my garden in the early morning sunlight. All right, here we go, the garage. Well, you guys were here last night, so I don't need to show you the whole process of me putting leaves in between newspapers anymore. Uh, uh, the kiln? I can show you the kiln. Let me just get the lights on again. All right, so apparently 21.6 degrees is around 71 degrees Fahrenheit. 71 for an overnight temperature. Uh, that's pretty high. All right, my kiln is this delightful little fridge shell. Oh, I've got so much crap in the way. But uh, yeah, I cut out the dividing between the little freezer section and the fridge section. Ooh, it looks nasty in there. This is from my previous attempts at tobacco juice kind of dropped the bottom there. Anyway, I'll make this look very, very nice for you guys and then shoot another video with the thing actually running uh, and hopefully regulating the temperature where it should. But just a quick overview. Slow cooker or crock pot goes in the bottom and that gives you the heat. Your hoot, your hoot, it gives you your heat and humidity. Now humidity is not is not such a crucial element. I don't know why this fan you know, somehow just get the air circulating and then it doesn't really matter what the humidity is too much as long as it doesn't go like a hundred for the entire process. Around 80, 90 would be nice. I do have a vent which I'll attach a pipe to on the top so I can vent the humidity Every now and then I've got another vent on the side so I can allow in some cold air on the bottom and then you get some air circulating and the temperature which will be regulated you can see the probe dangling in there from the thermostat which is kind of on there in this ice cream tub so I need to wire <coughs> wire the slow cooker onto that filler on the side so that when the slow cooker gets the entire unit up to the desired temperature then it regulates by switching off, or if it dips, then it switches on, etc., etc. So, I'll be playing with that again. I had my digital hygrometer in here, it was the one without a probe, and sadly, the humidity from inside got all the way in there. I should have known it would happen. And it condensed on the screen and frazzled the little electronics inside, and so it 
stop working. Anyway. But I'm gonna seal it up good so that uh, humidity doesn't mess up my new unit. So that's gonna go in there. Dangle in there somewhere. That'll fit in there like that, you see? I'm not gonna push it all the way in now because I still need to figure out how to... Uh, I'm, I'm probably just gonna fill up this cavity completely again and seal it off and still allow the probe to dangle in there. Anywho, that's a quick overview of my kiln. So sometime this week, I'll get my act together and I'll find a bit of spare time. I will start working on that. All right. All right, here we are again. You guys saw how rough I looked, rough around the edges I looked this morning. <laughs> uh, it was a very hot night. I struggled to fall asleep. It took me more than an hour. So that's, that's an hour gone right there. And uh, when you're trying to function on six or seven hours of sleep, uh, yeah, well, I call it beauty sleep for a reason. I did not get my beauty sleep last night, that's for sure. So you guys saw me at a bit of a, bit of a rough moment there, eh? Oh well. So I'm gonna crack on with these leaves. Um, but before I do, a shout out to my nearest neighbor, who's uh, just over a mountain range over yonder, about 75 kilometers away. That's about 46, 47 miles. Um, yeah, he's growing some tobacco. So, Jason Reinecke, nice to have you on board. Nice to have you as a nearby neighbor. I would like to come and visit you and have a look at your lovely Havana plants, which are over two meters tall. That, that is impressive. None of my plants got that high at all. So, uh, how the hell do you do it? Anyway, awesome. I want to see you cure those leaves and uh, run them through a kiln and we'll see what they taste like. Damn, that's gonna be, that's gonna be fun. So, Jason, AKA Blues Boy. He makes a bit of music on weekends. He's an artistic guy. So this is my pocket, that's weird. So, shout out to Jason. Now, I'm not gonna bore you guys with more uh, scenes of me going through my leaves, you've seen it all. Last night, that's footage from last night. So, uh, I've got a smoke, I've got some coffee. I'm gonna, here comes a dog. Say hello, lady. Yes, I don't want to pan the camera around too much because then they'll see how messy my garage is. And she's off. Anyway, so, uh, thank you very much for stopping by. It's always nice to share a part of myself and a part of my process and let you guys know what I'm up to. Thanks for stopping by and I will catch you guys in the next vid. I will definitely make a more interesting and exciting vid of my kill when it's finally up and running, but I do need to test it. Make sure those temperatures hold steady, uh, especially before my leaves go in there. Uh, everything needs to be just right. So uh, I will catch you guys then. Cheerio.